Hello everybody! Hope you're doing great and are ready to learn something new about geology. In this case, about why mountains in Iceland are so small. So, some of you are probably thinking, small? There are huge mountains in Iceland. Others might be thinking, yeah, despite Iceland being so volcanically active and sitting on a hot spot in the mantle, there's only one mountain with an elevation greater than 2,000 meters. That's almost correct. There are two. For most people, that's tall, and it is, but you'll quickly start thinking by looking at Iceland's volcanic history that you'd expect taller mountains here. There are some large and active volcanoes like Katla and Hekla that have an elevation that's under 1500 meters, and Katla started constructing 250,000 years ago. Iceland's tallest mountain, Öræfjökull or Kvannadalsnúkur, which is 2,110 meters above sea level, is estimated to be no older than 750,000 years old. Etna, a stratovolcano in Italy, is thought to be 350 to 500,000 years old and rises 3,357 meters above sea level. There could be some obvious answers to this question, like less volcanic activity. That's definitely one of the reasons, but not all. Hekla is a stratovolcano here in Iceland, highly active like Etna. Hekla is only around 7,000 years old and has already risen 1,488 meters above sea level. So, she's on a course to overtake Etna. That'll never happen, and here's why. Icelandic stratovolcanoes might take off fast, but they'll probably never reach heights much greater than Kvannadalsnúkur, unless they somehow become efficient and grow steeply, which is not going to happen. The reason behind this is that the crust under Iceland isn't like the crust where most stratovolcanoes sit, like in Italy, Africa, and the Canary Islands, for example. There, the crust, or the lithiosphere, ranges from 60 to 100 kilometers in thickness. That's also how most other continents have it. Meanwhile, in Iceland, the crust is on average around 29 kilometers. To put it simply, the crust here isn't thick or strong enough to carry the weight of 3,000 meter or more mountains. Kvannadalsnúkur, or Öræfjökull, happens to be sitting on a rather thick and old crust for Iceland standards, which is the reason it's that tall. Vatnajökull, the largest glacier in Europe, sits on this thick patch of crust, which is directly over the legendary magma plume. Bárðarbunga, which is the second tallest mountain in Iceland, at 2009 meters above sea level, sits around 84 kilometers northwest of Öræfjökull. It's still within Vatnajökull. It's huge. So, Bárðabunga is also on a patch of crust that's thicker than average for Iceland standards. Moral of the story, if you want to be a tall mountain in Iceland, you have to put your volcano system in Vatnajökull. So, that's why mountains aren't and will never be more than 3,000 meters in height in Iceland. Öræfjökull could grow a little bit bigger, but not by much. The crust there is only around 45 kilometers, which is not that much compared to other parts on Earth, especially for an area with a magma plume underneath it. So, in short, Iceland's mountains can't get much taller than 2,000 meters because the crust simply can't carry that amount of weight in one spot. It's just like if you take a piece of paper and stack clay on top of it. The clay quickly starts to bend the paper and sink into it. That's Iceland. Now you can take a book that's not too thick and do the same. And obviously you can stack more clay on top of it. You can actually see how Iceland is like a bowl. By looking at the mountains in the west, you can see that most of them, especially older mountains, tilt down to the east. And in the east, the tilt is to the west. I just want to thank everyone who made it here. Definitely leave any speculations and questions in the comments. It's always fun to read them. 
other than that, I just hope you enjoyed. I also hope to see most of you in the next video and thanks for watching.